Well, welcome to Julie the Thrifty Designer. Well, I'm going to have to make a fast video on this. I was waiting for it to get dark so I could show you what this looks like when the evening time is on. I was going to light all the candles and all of that and wait for it to a little bit darker, but it's getting ready to rain. So I just wanted to give you a quick overview. Well, remember in my last video I explained that I had to take my... Um, cushions back because they were not meant for being outside and they were too hard to bring in and out so they're not working I took them back but that's all right this is how it looks without it and in the spring I will get new ones but I just wanted to show it to you here and I have you know the wine and the glasses I was gonna light it so you could see it all lit up it would be so beautiful but then I also have an area I haven't shown you. <laughs> Boy, it's coming in. <laughs> I, again, I have the red pillows. And I was going to light the candles, but the wind just would blow it out as fast as I tried to light it. So I've made myself a little table back here. It's just, I think it's an old sports equipment thing. I've had it for a very long time. And it's made to hold different various things and so what I thought if you're having a party that's uh, from the again from the thrift stores and all that I found it's to go in your fireplace and put candles in it but I figured you could put your bottles of alcohol maybe if you wanted to on that and right along here you could hang some glasses and make a little mini bar if you needed to out of a sports equipment thing I don't know where it came from we've had it for a very long time but on my haul, I was telling you about a very big metal thing I had found at the thrift store. I didn't pay very much for this, like three or four bucks. I can't remember what it was. And I laid it on the table and went, oh, I love it on the table. And you know what the coffee table actually is? It's an old fire pit holder. And the fire pit just went kaplooey on us. And so then I found at a garage sale, this round plastic top it has a hole in it for an umbrella it goes on tables and I thought oh it works absolutely perfect for a coffee table in our sitting area and there's a fountain I got at a garage sale oh I don't know 10 15 years ago and I bought it for $25 I think it's heavy concrete so. and I also have a fire pit. Boy, am I ever getting ready to get wet. <laughs> ah, I was kind of hoping to build a fire. All sorts of stuff, but this is not working. So I have the concrete benches that I got also from that place. Now these ones have minor things wrong with them. I have no idea what it was wrong with them, but they sold, sold them to me for $25 a bench. You can't beat that for these concrete benches because they were normally a hundred something dollars each. And that was a few years ago when I bought them. And then I've just got little tables that we can set things on. Now they're not very pretty, and someday I hope to get nice ones to match. But I have the fences all lit up. I have eating areas. Oh my goodness, this is really getting blustery and raining. But also at that same uh, concrete place, there was this statue. Her arm is broken. It was supposed to be having her arm holding the pot on her shoulder. But I didn't care. I thought it just, you know, in Greece and in, in um, Italy, they have all these broken statues from yesteryear. And it's just part of it. And I thought it was amazing. I don't remember what I paid for her, but it wasn't too expensive. But she's heavy also. She's concrete. And then at a Tuesday morning, the thing hanging on the fence behind her I got had a chip in it. So they had it down for like $10. And that one I got at a garage sale. I don't remember what I paid for it. It was probably under $10 also. These are actually those kind of polyresin star foam carvings. But I think they just make for a beautiful setting in the yard. And this big urn pot. I got it at a garage sale for like $8, but it is cracked and that's why they were selling it so cheap. And one of those artificial trees I was telling you about. 
And it's really too bad that uh, I wasn't able to light everything. But here's another view of this finished corner and uh, how everything looks so it's more even lighting. And I think that really came out very pretty. I also got the shield at a thrift store for like $5 and it's a real metal heavy one. And it just goes with our look. It's pretty nice out here comfortable sitting area and everything and my flowers they're all artificial because I kill them <laughs> it's terrible to say that but I'm just not very good at keeping potted plants going and right now I have a lot of weeds growing in my garden and there's nothing I can do with it it's just a late start on everything then I have this. My mother-in-law gave me this years ago. And I had flowers growing it, but they didn't stay. And just through the years, it just kind of pootered out on me. Kind of making this a faster video than I intended to. Maybe I can do another one if on another night when it's really nice. But my clematis, it was blooming, but the flowers are gone now. But I just want to show you have all the lights on the fence and when it gets dark out here it is just the most beautiful lighting it's just very very pretty and there's a lot of mess in my yard and I do know that but and there's a sitting area here and then I had created this little area <laughs> I have a wagon that we got at a garage sale for like ten dollars and and in the fall I set it out front with um, a bale of hay which I'll have to get a new fresh one and I put all my fall pumpkins and things for Thanksgiving to make it look really cool and this is usually along with it this I've had this forever I don't know when I got that <laughs> more chairs and I they were white when I picked these up but they were free on the side of the road got a set of four of them and I only have three of them out. One is, the two is here and one is in that corner area over there. And they were white and peeling. And so I sanded them and painted them black to go with my theme. I have a play area over there for my children, grandchildren when they come visit. Well, this wasn't the video I intended it to be. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> so you can see what it's like when it's raining here in Colorado. But at least the cushions I have out now are ones that can be out in all weather. So I'm about really to get dumped on. So I just want to say happy decorating and God bless. Take care now. Bye-bye.